Hi everyone, I'm going to do this derivation using all rules, including quantifier negation. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly special about this, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so first I write my show line. I notice that it's an existential. Typically, if this were the case, I would be interested in just trying to find an instantiated version of it. But with all my rules available to me, I can basically do this by brute force, which means I'm going to immediately open up with an assume ID. Now that lets me quantify or negate immediately into for all x not not fx. Now it's tempting to sort of get rid of these two negations when I quantify or negate, but you can't do that. You need to do it later. So for now, I'll just say 2qn. Now I look at my premises. The first one is the negation of a universal. The second one is a conditional. And that's it. So I'll take care of this first. Why? Because the negation of a universal is an automatic move. And I will quantify or negate to get there exists an x not bracket dx or ex. And that is premise one, quantify or negate. Now, this also was a sort of smart move to do because my goal is always to uncover existentials. If I have an existential, I immediately EI, always, and I have to pick a new letter that does not appear anywhere else in the proof, so I typically start at I. So that's line 4EI. Um, now, I can DeMorgan's this, which is nice, not DI and not EI. And that's line five, De Morgan's. And of course, this is a really nice line because it gives me two little parts that I can uh, separate and simplify. Okay, now here it's actually sort of uh, unclear what I want to do. I clearly need to attack premise two. So either I'm going to try and show uh, this here, or I'm going to show the negation of this. Well, showing the negation of this is actually pretty easy. So why don't I actually do it this way? Um, this might seem odd because most people are sort of um, used to actually showing the antecedents, so this is actually sort of a nice demonstration. So I'll just say show um, negation of for all z dz. And on line 8, I just AID that. Now the reason why this is sort of a nice choice is because this actually spills out immediately. I'm going to UI to match my D, which is pinned to the I, to DI, that's 8 UI, and then on line 10, I will take my not DI from line 6, simplify, 9 ID, and that was really easy. The point of that was so I could modus tollens that premise and get not, there exists X, X, if and only if, not E, X. And that is line 7, premise 2, modus tollens. Dot, 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 dot. On line 12, I will immediately quantify or negate that to get this. Now, at this point, I just need to figure out what I'm going to UI to. It's pretty much how the proof is going to end. And I'm looking for guidance. Do I have any F's pinned? Do I have any E's pinned? Well, over here, I actually have a nice universal F, which means it's not pinned to anything. I can change it. But of course, over here, my very helpful line 6, I have E is pinned to I. So I know immediately that I can UI to match, and I get this. Uh, e, I, and that's line 12, UI. And I can... Uh, biconditional, sorry, negation of biconditional that. I think there's a shortcut here, but I'm just going to skip the shortcut. I don't care. That's 13 biconditional to conditional. And on 15, now I see over here I have not EI, that's that. So I'm going to split 15 up into this. 14, sorry, I should say. And that's I should say negation of biconditional. Sorry. Over here, this is the biconditional but conditional line. And on line 16, I will generate the ridiculous not, 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 E, I. How? 6, simplify, double negate. This lets me modus tollens to get not, F, I. Now that I have an F that is fixed to a letter, 
I can go back to my nice universal over here, which is unfixed, and UI it. So I'll get not not fi because I always UI to match. Uh, and then this is line three UI, and of course that contradicts with line 17, and that's my proof. Okay, this proof is really difficult. What it does show is how QN and all the other rules allow me just to attack this with brute force. It also shows things like, look, when I have a UI, resist, sorry, when I have a universal, resist UI whenever you want to, and actually just UI it when it makes sense, when you have something that's fixed. Also, how I try to uncover the existential as fast as I could so that I could EI and quickly use that to pin everything else down, too. Okay, give it a shot. Good luck.